Hello everybody, welcome to Men's with PJ. Today's date, August 21st, 2016. It is a Sunday. The word for discussion is transliteration. In John 3.16, For God so loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Revelations 22.19 If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Now, define is this is conversion of text from one script to another. To write words or letters in characters of another alphabet to change letters or words into corresponding characters of another alphabet or language. An example of this is Greek to Latin. Today's research shows that there were many words in the 66 books of the Bible that have letters or even words changed. And these, these were even from various manuscripts. From this premise, the Bible may have mistakes or even forgeries from the original transcripts. But throughout the uh, years, uh, there is a religious tolerance in this area. And having said this, there is only one truth that remains in all translations of the Bible. Man, who is us, sinned, and God sent his only Son, Jesus Christ, to free us from these sins. We are promised eternal life. This is a free gift given to us out of his love, mercy, and grace. Through Jesus Christ, we are now able to have fellowship again with God the Father. Because there are so many interpretations and translations of the Bible, it is okay to study them with the understanding of the main message about God's love, mercy, and grace, and Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son. Yes, the wages of sin is death, but God has saved us through His Son. This debt is paid in full because it was a gift to all of us. We need to be careful not to add or subtract from the inspired message of God that he has given us through the Bible. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.